Hi. My name is Jack Septic Eye. Welcome to a stream on YouTube. How unlikely, right? And I wait for chat to filter in because right now there's nothing and I'm talking to myself. Just like every other video, right guys? <laughs> We've been streaming for 37 seconds, and I already saw a hi, Dad. I mean, you say hi, Dad, now, but where was my gift on Father's Day? That's all I'm saying. I'm back, everybody. Didn't really go anywhere. I went to London for a day, and now I'm back. We're gonna stream some Detroit. Oh, sorry. Some Detroit become human. Because I want to. Are we human yet? We became human. The start of the game, it was Detroit become human? Question mark? And then in the middle of the game, it was Detroit becoming human. And then by the end of the game, it was Detroit I'm more human than you are. Anderson Barahas just said hello, Daddy. Mm -mm. Mm, don't like it. Mm -mm -mm. Is this going to be a video? Yeah. Whenever we finish streaming today, it'll go up as a like a archived stream. See that? See how I timed the music? That's me playing. I'm playing it live. Don't you guys see? Um, I'm waiting for people to filter in, by the way. That's why we haven't started anything yet. <laughs> um, because I want to play Detroit, but I want to play it in a way where we try all the stuff that we didn't get to do in the series. Anime lover, thank you. Love your vids and you were a weeb. Or are you a weeb? Oh. Yes. I mean... By definition, no. But I do like anime, so by the internet's definition, yes, I'm a weeb. <laughs> Meg love YouTube, welcome. I, I am a turtle. <laughs> Thanks. And daredevil, a lot of these messages and. Uh, like super chats and everything. I won't be able to read while I'm playing as much because I'll be concentrating on other things But I highly appreciate them. Thank you. You don't have to so It's very very sweet of you to do. Bestie 567. Thank you for the $20. Hi Jack, I'm a big fan. I've been watching your vids for two years. Wow That's a long time bro. Thank um, All right, let me just tweet it out just to let people know that we're we're doing a thing. Hey! Twitter didn't fuck it up! It actually says the game that we're playing for a change. That never, ever happens. Y'all ain't right, just said, have a nice day. We all right now. We gonna be all right. Uh, Emma Harris, thank you. Thank you for making me smile. Thank you. That's so sweet. Flat Rim Gamers, hey, I have a video of you saying like a boss at PAX East. Huh. <laughs> Classic me. But well, thanks. You know you got the best ending. Is that right? Thank you, Dark Portal. Did I really get the best ending? There's no way. People were so worried for so long that I fuck it all up. There's no way I could have gotten the best one.
Damn, Jack, your lucky sleep is for the week. It's 5 a.m. Maybe for you, Tabitha, but for me, it's 8 p.m. It's go time. And it's Sarah said, Hi, I'm Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Ziggy Zunker, love Jack, love this game. Thanks for all the PMA, fam bam. Fam bam, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Slap, slap, slap. It's me, Connor. The android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> I'm so glad that that became a meme. Lady Aim Sutek. Just wanted to let you know that your first playthrough of Detroit Become Human was so far my favorite play play there, and I've been watching the guy who plays Connor play. You are awesome, thank you. Thank you! That's very sweet of you. And Brian's awesome. Brian's super sweet guy. And I can't wait to do something with him soon. Hopefully next month when I'm in LA. We've talked about it. And we're both willing to do a video together. Somehow, somewhere, some why. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but we'll figure out. Okay. Everybody here? Let's... Start up a thing. And just as the music faded out. Isn't that beautiful? Life, everybody. Life uh, finds a way. Is it showing up all right? I haven't streamed on YouTube in a while. Oh, it's the audio is doubling up because it likes to do that. <laughs> Getting notifications on my Apple Watch. Okay, seems to be showing up. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Um, what I want to do. Oh, it's kind of laggy. Um, on my end, more than anything. What I want to do is that I want to go back. I can't even go to continue anymore because that side of things has just gone away now. Um, I want to go back through. Oh, extras. I haven't gone into that. What does this say? Artworks, videos, soundtrack, gallery. Ooh, I could just read the magazines in here? Ah, this is what the points are for. That's actually kind of cool. You get some, like, wallpapers. Damn, I didn't know any of that. Um... Take a survey. Uh, no thanks. And you can just go through and read all the magazines. I'm sorry, my head's blocking some of them. So I'll try and get out of- sorry! Okay, whatever. We're gonna go into chapters. I can go back and look at that stuff after. Um... I don't know if restarting my capture card will work. Because right now it's like, click, and then it does it. It might fuck us up in some of the things. Um... I'm not gonna be playing like- I'm not gonna just start the game and play start to finish again because it's like an 11 hour game, 10 hour game. Actually, it's a little under 10 hours. It was like nine and a half for me. Um, so I don't want to play every single thing. I do want to try out some sections. I want to try out some of the bigger sections. I kind of want to go to Kara's section. And see. Stormy Night. This is one that I've been curious about. Oh no, I don't want to go to flowchart. I want to launch chapter. Do we want to save or do not save? I mean, we finished the game now, so the pressure's off. I don't need to do anything in a specific way anymore, but I don't want to go into save and have it save my progress and then suddenly go back to the main menu and we have to play the game from this point on. And all of the chapters are gone. So if I play with save or not save, does it... I don't know what changes. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys to tell me what to do. Oh, take the survey. Is the survey from Chloe? I'll do that later on. Because I want to know if I save, will it just update the flowchart and I can get all the eventual outcomes and try and unlock absolutely everything? Um, because I don't really care about playing the story start to finish anymore, so that kind of stuff doesn't really matter. Because the playthrough I did doesn't really matter anymore. 
Okay, a lot of people saying don't save. Okay. I won't save for now. We'll figure out how it goes along. As I said, pressure's off. I don't really have to worry about my decisions anymore, and I'm trying to do the worst things possible. Hence the title of the stream. If you didn't get that by now, we are literally doing some of the worst decisions that you can do in the game. Some would say I made some of those already. <laughs> um, okay, I won't save for now. Saving just updates your flowchart. Ah, see, I should have saved. Because keeping the playthrough that I did doesn't really matter anymore. I don't really care about that. That's done. We got that outcome. That's in the bag. Oh, you're a robot! After all this time! Jesus! <gasps> Stranger danger. Dinner is ready. <laughs> Dinner's ready, right after he grabs the red ice. <laughs> Todd, dinner's ready! I know. Oh! Okay, serve food. Can I put cyanide in it? So, I'm trying to figure out which one to do first. I think you can kill Todd here. But what I'm most curious about is how... How fucked up can I make this playthrough? Can I get Kara and Alice killed, like, right there from the get-go? I did what I could. Okay, let me do this. Whoop. I'm a tiny boy now. Stormy, stormy night. Paint your palette blue and gray. So if you're here to see good options, that's in the playthrough. Go watch that. Right now we are we are messing shit up. Turn on the light. If I have to. I already forget half the shit I did in this game. Oh yeah, this is very laggy. It's like a full second delayed from when I press buttons, so this might be bad. Maybe that'll work out! Life's funny. Is it? I lost my job because of androids. No, you didn't. You lost it because you're a piece of shit. Somebody I'm a poor for- this goddamn house. I'm- I'm pouring for Alice! Go out and hire a fucking android. You also bought a child android. Joke. Are you gonna save Hank? Uh, of course, androids are so yeah. fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Okay, bye. Stop moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Okay. <laughs> what are you looking at? Now it makes more sense why. What's your fucking problem? I'm not excusing not the life Todd dreamed, being a shithead eh? to Alice, but now it makes more sense Maybe why he is, is because easy. it's a robot. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Todd can't die? Really? Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. I love that line. Fucking you bitch really took scare off me, Todd. Work. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Oh, it still does not make it easier to see, though. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! That works. Yes! Oh, God! Damn kids ruining my life! I know it's her fault! You stay there. Nah. Don't you dare fucking move. Nah. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. So weird to go back from the very beginning and Kara's not allowed to move. Become Devion! This is a great mime act, Kara. My name is Connor! I'm the android sent by Cyber Life! We're breaking free! <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to do first? Kill Todd with the gun. I think I'm going to do that first. And then after that... Oh, reason with Todd. That's also a decision we didn't make. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do everything today. 
because this is going to be impossible. I'm just picking the worst decisions in some of the more prominent scenes. Like saving Hank, uh, killing Todd, seeing what Todd does to Alice kinds of stuff. Because I've heard that this gets really messed up. Some of the decisions you can make in this game get really bad. Do something now. Reason with Todd, join Alice in the room. Okay. He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! Just touch your head! Speak to Todd, run with us... Uh, okay, let's do nothing here! Let's give Todd a chance to actually Alice. come into the room. Alice! He's coming! Oh, wait, I don't have the gun! You need to be taught a lesson! Damn! Okay, let's just see what happens. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? Playing charades? Get out of my way! Okay. <laughs> I don't like doing this! This is odd! Odd with Todd! There's something- No! I said get out of here! Oh, don't do it, man. Even though I want it to happen, I don't at the same time. Oh, jeez! Don't fight back! Oh, jeez! Christ! Time, basically, because Todd messed up Kara. I don't like this. I don't like this. Um, grab, push, shield. Um, I don't know. What's the worst one to pick? Shield? Maybe I'll get beaten up more? No. Okay. <laughs> that worked really well. <laughs> Let's push Leo all over again. Push! Will we kill Todd? <gasps> See, that's what I expected to happen to Leo. Not for him. Well, I guess he didn't actually die, but... moving. <laughs> Didn't did like that. No. Todd broke Kara downstairs. I like how it just says broke. Todd broke me just now. Ah, see, I should have saved it. Because then it would have saved the flowchart. 
Because now those decisions don't go into it, so I'd have to play it again just to have those be updated. That was messed up. Um, I can't go back to the main menu from here. I have to continue? I don't like that. Okay. We're gonna save from now on then, because I didn't know how that system worked. Well, that's pretty cool that you can just go back and play specific scenarios. That's a good decision. Some games don't do that. Uh, what was that other PS4 game I played from the Until Dawn devs? Um, Hidden Agenda. That didn't allow me to do that. See, Chloe's not here to talk about. Okay, I want to see what this survey is. Will Chloe come back? Who is your favorite character? Ooh, fun! Who is your favorite character in Detroit? Well, of course, it's Connor, my boy. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Hell yeah. Was there a moment in Detroit that reasoned with you, or resonated with you personally? Um... Occasionally, there wasn't that many. Wait, Todd kills Alice? Alice was dead?! What?! He kills both of them?! That's messed up. Oh! Brian is actually watching! The dude who plays Connor, Brian Deckard, is actually watching the stream. Hi, Brian! Or hi, Connor army. Hi, Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I hope that's not insulting. <laughs> I keep trying to replicate his voice. Um, occasionally, there was some stuff. What was the toughest choice you faced in Detroit? Accepting Alice's identity with Kara? No. Being pacifist or violent with Marcus? No. Deciding to shoot Chloe with... Oh, yeah. I mean, none of you- the hardest decision for me... Well, I guess these are the ones that, like, what was the hardest to actually do versus not do? The hardest stuff for me was, like, being on the boat and escaping Jericho and making sure everyone stayed alive, so... Deciding not to shoot Chloe was not a hard decision. Being pacifist or violent, accepting Alice's identity with Car I don't know. None of these. It was easy to be pacifist with Marcus, because that's what I wanted to do. It was easy to accept Alice's identity with Kara, because I called it within the first couple of hours. Uh, this one, I guess. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Oh yeah, I said yes to this. I want to see how many people pick this other stuff. Uh, who's your favorite character in Detroit? 46% Connor! You see that, Brian? 46% for you. I mean, Valerie and Jesse are great as well, but dude, you killed it as Connor. And he was- he was the most interesting character to me. Because he was the one that struggled with his identity the most, I think. And I really liked playing as him, because you got to do the whole Blade Runner stuff. Uh... 64% said Manny. See, this is the thing, there was a lot of... moments in Detroit that were difficult and made me stress out and made me anxious, but... resonated with me is a different thing. Because I haven't had to deal with the android uprising type of stuff, so I don't know if stuff like that resonated with me. Um, stuff between Marcus and Carl, I guess, resonated with me because my dad is an older man. My dad's in his 80s, so seeing an older man in not the best peak physical condition resonated with me a lot. Um, like, the, the relationship with Connor and Hank didn't resonate with me too much because I haven't had that in my personal life. The stuff of being like a mom to Alice or being having a dad abuser to a child kind of stuff. Some of that stuff doesn't really resonate with me on a personal level. Um, being pacifist or violent with Marcus is the thing most people said. That's interesting. Um, okay, we're gonna save now. Another one I want to do because the one with the hostage, the one with, Hi, Daniel! I- I did that in the demo already. I kind of went back and saw some of the other outcomes and I- I saw how messed up stuff can get. But this is the thing with... So if 
Kara is broken there. What happens to her story? Is it like a, a MacGuffin where it just comes back and you get to play as a new model of Kara? Because that's the thing I'm most curious about. Can you get Kara and Alice killed early on and then their story is just gone? <laughs> Because I know with Connor you can't really get him killed. You can, but he just keeps coming back because that's part of his plot, which is very clever. It's a very good way of bringing that story back. Um, wasn't many difficult decisions in here. I will go back eventually. This stream is going to be all about picking the worst decisions in some of the harder scenarios. So shades of color, there wasn't many difficult scenarios in that one. Her story completely stops. No way! It's just gone! That's cool, that's a ballsy move. What I want to do is, not these ones, where is, where's the one with Hank? Waiting for Hank, Jericho, where's the one where I have to save Hank? The nest, this is it. So I want, I want to play this one from the start because I like this chapter. It's one of my favorite chapters, and we're gonna save this time because it'll save the flow chart. Because I want to save Hank this time. I know I said I'm gonna do the worst decisions possible in this stream, and that's true. Um, but I, for the Hank section, I didn't save Hank the first time because I was silly. So this time I'm gonna try and save him and see what happens. Because I want I want my boys to be happy. I want the bromance to live, but. Up until that point, I'm going to pick all the worst decisions. I'm going to try and get all the decisions I can. It's hard to stick to one thing because the game has so many scenarios. Oh, this is where we hugged at the end. So Hank's neutral right now. And on the, the thing in the top right when it says software instability, you get, um, it says deviancy at the top, or deviant, and I think there's a bit of RA9 up there too. I don't know what else it says. The bottom line, I don't know what it says. Look at that depth of field, it's so gorgeous. Lickety split, dog. Reflection in the water is nice. That shit you gave me, sitting back on each wage is Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You He's wearing a Jacksepticeye cap. Yeah. Top of the morning to you. What am I scanning? Oh, I need to restart my capture card. This is so laggy. Whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. Hankford! Are you dealing with the narcotics? What is your problem? <laughs> don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. But my name is Connor. <sighs> uh, review facts. I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No. Now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? <laughs> Brian, how fun was it to record these scenes with Clancy? Here you go. Ah. Uh. Okay, I can scan this stuff because I might be able to use it for the conversations. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Do you think they call I'll him Gary because here. of SpongeBob? Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Clancy Brown is Mr. Krabs. There's a couple of scenes like that where I'm like, did they put that in because of that? Scan the guy cooking. Ah, dang, I can't scan anymore. Oops. Oh well. Cholesterol, gambling. Have it gambling. This Pedro? Oh yeah. He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? You didn't pay for your meal. 
Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Look, can you scratch my back? I can't reach it. I, 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 I can't see what it says. What's behind my camera? Ah, uh, this. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Oh, Hell yeah. no. Well, yeah. I love um, this. Why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. <laughs> well, they fucked up. <laughs> I love that. They fucked up. You're weird looking and you sound weird. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. <laughs> Proceed. That's because of my name you is Connor. believe Connor. that a mutation occurs in the software of some We say that too much? Which Hank can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions. Which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? <laughs> Hi, Daniel! Um, a few months back. So I'm wondering if I can really mess up some of the later scenes if the I haven't played girl. the earlier ones. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Because I can't. There is to know if about I just me. skip ahead to. If I just skip ahead. I didn't hear what he said. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. The rest doesn't concern me. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. It's me, Hank. You should go have a look. Oh, I I'll didn't get the wink! I'll be in the car if you need me. Damn! How do we get the wink? I want the wink! Or he just goes. It's adorable. Hey, Connor. Because what, what I mean is that, uh, am I able to do? Because later on, I think you're able to just like kill Marcus as Connor. And I don't know if I'm able to do that unless I actually play it and make all the decisions. Because if I just skip to that chapter, like, what's the context? What stuff does it use from before? You run out of batteries or what? I'm oh, no. sorry. I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh, the company that I was sent from, because I am an android well, sent by them. staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Too much information, Connor. Now, what do we know about this guy? Wink only Not when you much. tell Hank the truth. Just that Dang a neighbor it. reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Knock, knock! My name is Connor! And this is Hank. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. He's just a dude who works with me. Anybody home? Open up! Detroit Police! And Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. Stay behind me. I Got just it. have to do it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love this music. The soundtrack for this game is really good. But not only that, like the sound design in general is really good. Boom, 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 boom. I just want to get the chase scene. What the fuck is this? Is Jean. Oh yeah, apparently, uh, Brian Jesus, said in one of his streams sticks. that, as a joke, the programmers put uh, looks like we came from a nothing. bunch of Connors in this room Our instead of gone. pigeons. I really want to see that. I hope that that footage comes out eventually. That needs to see the public. Imagine seeing a whole bunch of little Connors. And I want them all to be, instead of making pigeon noises, I want them all to be saying, My name is Connor. My name is Connor. My name is Connor. He's up there. 
I I know he's up there. Where was the crease? Bum 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 bum. bum. Something smells fishy. <sighs> I need some fresh air. Yeah, you head outside, Hank. Or just lean your head out the window. Hank can commit suicide? What? Found something? How or when? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. It looks like fan fiction. Fan fiction about Detroit become human for. Man, I just trigger him. Hello, pigeons. R A nine. Any idea what it means? RA-9, written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. If Connor dies too much, Hank sign? kills himself? No! Looks like mazes or something. Oh, that's both the saddest and sweetest thing ever, the fact that Hank is so messed up by Connor. That he ends up killing himself because of Connor. Oh, my boys. Don't worry. Well, I was gonna say I won't let any harm come to you, but the whole point of this... These sessions right now is to make harm come to you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Things are gonna have to get a little dicey. Ah, shit. I meant to reconstruct. Bye-bye. Bum, 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 bum. He took a giant Crayola, and he drew on the wall, and then he fell off because he had too much to drink. Too much red ice. Then he left this place. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! You talking about androids? He left because his McDonald's was at the door. He's a sucker for the Big Mac. But he decided he had to wipe all traces of drugs off on the birdcage. And then he put out his cigarette right here. And this is his guitar string from when he was singing Freebird. Interesting. Man's got taste! He went for the McDonald's, realized it was actually a guy from Subway. He hates that shit. So he went over here to hide from his problems. Up into the roof he went. A quick escape I can make, he thought. Exposed suspect. I saw your browser history. Ah. 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 Goddamn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Okay. Wait, can I get Connor killed in these sections? Baba, baba, baba. My name is Connor! I'm the android sent by Cyberlife! Freeze! Okay, I'm just following his path. Such a sweet, sexy, epic boy. I literally just want to see what happens if you don't save Hank. Down, 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 down. Or if you do save Hank, I mean. Like these situations, can I just fall off the roof? I kind of want to see that part. To me, coming through. Android sent by Cyberlife. I know what I'm doing. God. Having to make QTEs with a laggy capture card is not the best thing. What are you doing? 
I'm, I'm being parkour wizard. I learned this from watching Robo Jesus. The same from Marcus, really. Because uh, like if there's a train there, can it just jump off? Freeze, dirtbag! Shit! Connor, can I here? I want to see that. Uh, for scientific purposes, of course. Hey, be careful, asshole. Be careful, asshole. This reminds me of Inception for some reason. The music sounds a lot like Inception music. The dream is collapsing. You gotta get out. Direct but crowded. I have got this. Why do you go this way? Whoop! Seem like you're moving very fast. Combat roll. To me. Andrew's in my cyber life. Come through. Freaking corn stalks! What is this? Outlast 2? Mike! Langford! I'll save you. Why didn't I pick it this quick last time? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. Oh, You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Oh, say thank you. Be the dad he needs. Oh, when I did it, I uh, got slapped in the face, and then Rupert committed suicide anyway. So a lot of bad stuff happened for me, but then Rupert ended up helping us find Jericho later on. So, so if you save Hank here, um, Rupert escapes. So he's never in the evidence lab at the end. So you can't use him and his journal. You can't use his brain to decipher the journal. So what if happens if you save Simon as well? How do you find Jericho? You can make Connor kill Hank? No. How? And why would you do that? Um, okay, let's go back to main menu for now. It should have saved that stuff, right? There could be a nuclear bombing ending? Now you're just messing with me. <laughs> My Connor is name. I'm the cyber life sent by Android. <laughs> Thank you, Lu Chen. Thank you, Droy Daruk. Love your videos, been watching from the start. Make sure you say you were sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> I say it too much. Uh, Max Irolls, thank you for the donation as well. Do the secret Kamsky ending. God, there's so much to this game. Um, partners, I don't think there's anything. I want to see like the super crazy scenarios. I already got the crazy scenario there where Connor gets shot. Um, wait, can I... Can I play a chapter in the middle of this? Ah, I can. Find Rupert. Okay. I want to see... What happens... If I just let Connor fall off the building. You can get a nuke ending? Oh, the dirty bomb! That's a nuke? There's a zombie ending where the robots take over. The Kamsky ending is kill everyone extremely early. Marcus can kill Carol. Matt, they really went all out in this game, didn't they? There's so much to it. It's gonna take like another 10 streams just to try and get all the options. 
There's a path where Connor is going to snipe Marcus at a protest, but Hank stops him. Connor ends up winning the fight and putting Hank over a ledge and letting him go. My God! Oh, and I thought the stuff that I was doing in the game. I thought the stuff that I was doing in the game was harsh. This gets really bad. Okay, ow, my face. My beautiful android sent by Cyberlife face. Okay. I like how he makes me chase it, but then he ends up at the end faster than I do. Okay, what happens if I just don't press any buttons? Okay, here's not a big deal. I want to see what happens on the roof if I just don't press any buttons. I want to see if Connor falls off. Which now I'm assuming he does, considering how messed up this game can get. Beep beep. Uh, whoop! Uh-oh. Yeah, this is the roof down here, isn't it? Go, Connor! My con-con man! Okay, I'm not going to press anything here. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> he just falls off? Ah, oh, that was anticlimactic. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna retry that again. I wish I could just do it from here. Instead of having to- oh god, I have to go to the next chapter and then reload it again. I don't mind people spoiling some of the endings now. Thank you, GTA Pro 7. Love your vids, been watching since 2014. Keep up the good videos. I will try. Thank you so much. And Natty Hattington. Hank commits suicide if you keep letting him down and become enemies by following your direct orders all the time. Hank shoots himself in the house. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Poor Hankford. Next time you're in the Zen Garden, look for the headstones. Every time Connor dies, a new one pops up. That's crazy. Okay, I want to do this one one more time. Because it was a second roof that I could have fallen off. And the nest. Sadly, that's what a lot of this stuff is, is just repeating sections. Man, it would take you forever to get all the flow charts. Um, I am curious about more of the Kara Alice endings, because I feel like they're the most disposable characters in the game. Because their story's great and everything, but I think the whole game could actually play out without either of them. Like, if that whole arc and that whole section was gone, I'm glad it's not, because I like them a lot, and I like their characters, and I like the way they're ending and everything happens, but I think if their whole arc was cut out, the story would continue anyway, because a lot of it comes down to Connor versus Marcus. Um, so I'm curious to see how many of their endings could go. What happens if you just get Marcus killed early? What happens? How much does this game cost? I think it's a full price, like, $60 game. Jesus, I hate these things! God damn it, fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Okay, I'm going again. I'll make it slightly further this time, Hank. I'll get over this first rooftop. You think you can get shredded by one of these things? Or get run over by a train? No way it took so long to make this damn game. It wasn't like the mocap and everything. It was that plus having to. Okay, I pressed that on time. The mocap plus having to do all the eventualities and how they all interplay with each other. That must have been a nightmare to try and program. Do 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 do. Okay, there's that one. 
go out through that door. Find this. I remember all the buttons now. Press down on this guy. No, it's up. <laughs> no boobs. <laughs> go right past. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, this rooftop. Is he just gonna fall again? Oh, the train. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they all kind of just lead to the same one anyway. Oh my god, he got turned into sawdust. Just sprinkle him over your pizza. Poor Connor. <laughs> um, so there's Chase Rupert, gaining on Rupert, Connor died. All the Connor died ones just lead to the same outcome. You don't have different options for how he dies. There's one down here. I nearly got everything in this. Hmm. Well, what should I do next? What, like, uh, scenarios? You find Jericho through Kamsky. Ah, oh, okay. Poor Connor. Poor android sent by Cyberlife. My boy, he got shredded into bits. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> uh, what other stuff do we have? Waiting for Hank. On the run. Man, I am hungry. I am hankry. Time to decide. Marcus's is also a, an interesting route because you can become, f like I said, full on like Robo Hitler and just become a complete dictator and make the androids go out and take over humanity and probably get very, very violent with it. Kitty, thank you. Hi, Jack. Thank you so much for getting me into both Undertale and Detroit. Maybe you can go back and interrogate the androids you missed in the kitchen. That's a good point as well. Try to sleep at the motel. See, these- all those ones are like, little scenarios and stuff doesn't really change. Um, I'll go back and try and do those eventually because I want to see everything this game has to offer. But I want to do the scenarios that are really impactful. Like letting Kara and Alice get killed at the start, letting Connor get killed there, like how messed up can we get? Making them sleep in the motel versus the car and stuff. That stuff's just little bits and pieces here and there. That doesn't really change a whole lot. Okay. Some people want me to do the tower investigation. Try for tower. That's this one. And go to the kitchen to interrogate the robots. Okay. Because that is a whole section that I missed. Make Marcus sing. Oh yeah, that was an ending, wasn't it? People said that that was a nice ending, but... Like, it just didn't make sense. If it could kiss North, it was like, oh, it shows that we can actually love each other and we kiss each other and it looks more human. I don't know how singing helps. Ah, now the blue thing actually makes a whole lot more sense. It's the emergency exit in the program, because this is all in Connor's head. In his head, kind of. It's just software, this entire section. It's his self-regulating program. So hitting this thing was making him aware of the exit. And then... You can't exit right now because you're not deviant. Which begs the question, why did... Um... Why did Kamsky put it in there? Does Kamsky want them to become deviant? Still a cool place though. Where is she? Oh, she's in the boat. Oh yeah, this is the boat part. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. A little cruise. I still have yet to see the little cruise. She just pulls out a little Tom Cruise doll. 
Here's the little cruise. Go to the very end, but don't touch the blue thing. Oh, yeah, would I shoot Marcus? Oh, that's messed up. I love how involved everybody is with this game. And I don't mean like on this channel, I mean in general. Everyone's very into this game and everyone has already looked up all the scenarios. Because they just like the character so much. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Go to Ireland next week oh, next know, week. Wanted know. to know what the best place to visit for the best Irish boy. Anywhere on the West Coast is pretty good. What have you discovered? Uh I saw sex dolls. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. I like that he's wringing his you hands. That's so a nice close detail. To stopping them. Yeah, sorry about that, Amanda. She reminds me of Amanda Waller. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Don't make Connor deviant. That's true. I don't think that really matters right now. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Also, I didn't know that the lady who plays Blue Tracy is Brian Deckard's real life fiance, Amelia Rose Blair. That's so cool. Uh, I don't know. They were out of range. If I had the opportunity to stop them, why wouldn't I? You tell me. I thought too far meant like it's too far to kill them. I don't want to go that far. But they're actually literally too far if away from you. Investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Benjamin, thank you. Uh. I understand. Hmm. Uh, thanks for making your videos so hilarious. They keep me happy and I love watching Something's them. Happening. They are so addicting. Thank you again, Sean. Thank Something's you, Benjamin. Serious. That's so sweet. Hurry, Connor. Thank you very much. Time is running out. There's a fine balance between entertainment and sincerity. And I try my best, so thank you. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Apparently later on, if you go back Sorry and look at me. Hank, you can see him trying the coin tricks in the corner. Hi, Hank. Saw it, dude. What's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. Okay, good they talking to you guys. I'm a- they were very well I'm gonna just beat Connor, the it's android sent by Cyberlife, and I'm just gonna do my own thing. Okay, bye. Bye. The roof. Not yet. I know what I'm doing. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to- Starting to piss me off with that coin, they Connor. Taken down before they could react. Making Marcus sing is honestly so worth it. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought the game was gonna crash again. Perkins! Oh, Lieutenant, rat this is face. Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Perky Lieutenant boy! Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> the there it is! The androids, huh? <laughs> oh, the android sent by Cyberlife! After everything that happened. The FBI would take over the investigation. You should search up, uh, go to YouTube and search. Well, you're already on YouTube. And you watch your <laughs> Go and search. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. There's like a short video somebody put together of the times Connor says it. And then just little funny edits here and there in it as well. It's really good. I like it a lot. All right, well, let's have a look around. Okay. Let me know if you find anything. I'm going in here. Okay. This is the place I didn't go. Wait, I want to follow Hank. I want to see if he's trying to do the coin trick. Let me know if you find anything. I found something. It's you, Hank. Oh, 
I'm not looking. If my back is turned, it means that I can't see what's going on. Does he actually do it? Or is he just going to look around? Okay. I'm just going to do my thing for now. Do do do. Connor also just gets the best environments to go around. I mean, I know Marcus gets to go here as well, but Connor gets to do like the detective scenes. So who are the deviants in here? Ah, oh, you boys. What's up, fellers? Interrogate androids and check their reaction. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Oh. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Okay, they all seem so normal so far. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Run a diagnostic. <laughs> all systems fully operational. Oh, that's that's the deviant. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Did you see the shifty eye doing the shifty eyes? None of the others got a shifty eyes. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. You're a deviant. Wait, can I not do anything else? What? Oh, maybe I have to explore more of the scene. Because I don't have stuff saying like, oh, they knew that they were here, blah, blah, blah. This one. They didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. <laughs> the shit-eating Granges. Hmm. We'll get to the bottom of this, Con Con Man. With your rugged good looks and my also being here, there's nothing we can't accomplish. It's a Perkins rat face. I know I'm being mean to him, but... I don't like him. Or his face. Do 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 do. Okay, is that do I need anything else? This can't be all that there is to do in here, is it? Oh, interrogate. I know it was one of you. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Get him, Connor. Which means Drag there's him. a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Oh, the daddy pants are on. It's this guy, without a doubt. Threaten, deal, guilt. Oh, threaten his ass. You're going to be switched off. Oh, he's getting We're angry. Gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. Damn. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy. Connor's got some fucking bite. He's just like, yeah, you better watch your ass, bitch. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Can 
I attack him yet? If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. <laughs> he walks over and is like... Probe memory. Torture! What? Oh, uh, Connor, what, what, what are we doing here, buddy? Where are those hands going, Connor? Connor, eight, four, five, one. Con Con oh! Regulate. Connor, what are you doing? Bio component eight, four, five, one. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. Jesus. I could put it back. But you just have to tell me the truth. He's a... He's a menace Are right you now. The deviant. How can he tell you if he's shutting down? Oh god! Oh shit! Ah, oh, get off him! Wait, am I? Should I let this happen? Ah! My boy! What the fuck? He called out for his dad! Oh, this is horrible! I don't like this! Where's my bro when I need him? Hankford! Oh, it's like ripping out the arc reactor. My, my special boy, my beautiful baby boy, go, crawl. Go, Connor, do it. There you go, my beautiful boy, keep crawling. Wait, do I want this to happen? I don't think I want this to happen. I don't think I want to save him. Aren't I supposed to be making bad choices? Oh god, do I have to wait 50 seconds just to... Oh, this is horrible. Okay, wait, let, let's just see how this plays out because I haven't seen any of this scene. Hallelujah. That was hard to watch. We run like an old man full of poopy. It's a deviant. Stop. Oh Jesus. Uh attack. Take gun. Hank survivability 40%. Hank no! <laughs> Hank get down! Thing you were here, otherwise I'd. Oh, tits! Connor, no. <laughs> what was that delivery? Connor, no. <laughs> oh, and Simon's okay then. That's how you do it. Oh, but at what cost, people? Oh, no! So does that help out your relationship with Hank in the end? That was horrible! My poor heart! Felt like the Deviant just ripped my heart out when I saw that. Oh, I want to go back and do it again. I want to go back and see what happens if I shoot him. Does Hank get shot? Because Hank's survivability is 40% instead of... 84, 89%? What was it in the rooftop? Ugh, that was rough. I'm so glad I didn't go in there when I played it for YouTube. Jesus, that would have been horrible. Because I definitely would have saved Hank. Uh, wait. Where was I? I'm further. I definitely would have tried to save Hank in that scenario if I was playing it regularly. Okay, can I just skip to the- Oh man, I have to do the whole interrogation section?
Oh, that blows. Okay. There are 40 endings. And I still managed to get the best one. Jesus. This game's rough. Melissa Volant, thank you. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hope you're enjoying watching me get my heart ripped out over and over again. Oh, my name is Connor. Oh, I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Jack, stop making us suffer. No! You're in it. You're in this with me. We're all in this together, okay? We're, we're gonna, we're gonna stare down the barrel of the gun. And we're gonna wait for that. And we're gonna stare death in the face. And we're gonna overcome it. Even though we're not, because the whole point of this is technically staring the barrel down the face and eating a face full of lead, so... Starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Jesus. Sorry, Lieutenant. <sighs> Poor Connor. Hi, Hank. Hello! Shit, what's going yeah. on here? I'm big! Party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. I got 99 uh, endings and this ain't one. On our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. I love this game so you know much. Got? Me too, Raging Gamer. Four androids. This they is super fun. And they were I really like this game and I like going back and seeing all the different scenarios. How they got this far without being noticed. Part of me kind of wants to start a playthrough like right from the beginning and do the whole thing and figure out everything with it but and like get the worst stuff possible, but this takes a really long time. Oh, oh, we get to hear it again. Wait for it, oh, Lieutenant. Wait for it. This is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Yes. <laughs> investigating androids, huh? <laughs> My name is Connor. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's my favorite line in the whole game. <laughs> the FBI would take over the investigation. You send me off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. Prick. You watch your step. Super Frog, oh, super. Christ. You shot Todd in the beginning? Damn. What a fucking prick. Agreed, Hank. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you okay. find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Okay, Lieutenant. My Connor impression is like midway between normal speaking and Michael Rooker. They didn't break in? No, no signs of force. You know Michael Rooker from there The Walking Dead? He's home. Merle. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. And he's in, um, he's Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy. They was gonna eat you, boy! He might have been your- <coughs> Can't do it without a lubricated throat. He might have been your father, but he sure ain't your daddy. <coughs> we stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. That's okay, buddy. I'll figure it out. I'M GONNA GO INTERROGATE HO! Well, I wanna get the same thing again. Fellas? Dun, 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 dun. Connor means business in this scene. It's cool seeing him actually, like... ...go Stay full normal. aggressive on Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. Wait, is it still the same guy? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. Hmm, one of you is a liar! And I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Maybe I'm an android. It's your story, bro. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? 
Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to One my of you is a liar, bot. Four thousand. One of you saw the attack on the uh -huh. surveillance cameras and said nothing, which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm <laughs> going me. to find out which it is. Is he gonna move his eyes again? Ah, he is still the deviant. You're going to be switched off. Get him, Connor. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece. Catch these nice. hands. You're going to be destroyed. Drag him. Do you hear me? Destroy. Destroy. <laughs> okay, but I'm on to you. Boom. Give yourself up. Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. My name is Connor, after all. I have some sway at Cyberlife, because I'm the android sent by them. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Project Delta! Turn Greetings from... in, or two innocent androids UK. will be shut down because Thank you. of you. Adopting Alien! I'm waiting to get paid so I can buy a PS4 so I can buy and play this game, too. P.S. Nephew Jacob says hi. Ah, Oh, he says hi, I'm Jacob, the android sent by Cyberlife. Hi, Jacob. Um... Okay, I, I want the same thing to happen again. I don't know if that happens if I pick something else, so I want to do this one. I like how weird this is. Like, if it's just that scene from there, oh, God knows what they're doing to each other. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. Connor Bradshaw, thank you. My name is Connor. I'm the android set by Cyberlife. But you just have to tell me the truth. Oh. Are you the deviant? I want someone to put together a compilation of me doing my- Oh god! My top of the morning, my name is Jack Septicai. But have it be, my name is Connor. Oh man! I can't watch- I can't watch my boy! I can't watch him get hurt! Oh, Connor! Oh. The fact that he calls out to Hank- Listen to it. Hank! 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 I need help. Oh, oh. Poor sweet angel. <laughs> See, you gave him the idea. You pulled out his one and then said, you'll die if you take this out for too long. And then he, the dude's like, oh, good idea. And he just pulls yours out. Also, why is it that easy to pull your thing out? All right, crawly, crawly, crawly mans. Here we go. Get your heart back. This is what the whole game was about. Searching for your heart all along. Go, 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 go. Okay, so grab gun this time. If he sh <laughs> Please tell me somebody at some point has made the joke already of if Connor dies, people have done it with the windows shutting down sound. Somebody's bound to have done that online by now, right? <laughs> Don't do anything. But if he just it's dies easy. there, then it's just going to be the same as always. Take one. Oh! Oh! Shut up, Connor. I wanted it alive. Oh! You saved human lives. You saved my life. My boys! Insane! He was like John Wick. And then Simon's like, "Oh, thank God!" <laughs> Damn. There's a lot of different stuff in that scene. Why can I move it? Oh, what is? 
this one in the middle. There's one here. Attack by SWAT during Stratford, Analyze Corridor. I think some of the scenes, if you just wait, something happens. I think you get a different ending if you just wait out the time. There's an ending here. Enter the kitchen. I guess you can enter the kitchen and leave the kitchen. Protect tank. God, there's so many. So that's actually a pretty good one. That would have been the way to do it if I was playing it uh, regularly. Because that would have got Simon saved, and it also helps the relationship with Hank, and Connor also survives. So that's, that's probably one of the better scenarios you can get there. Everyone ends up living there. Don't go to the roof at top at all! Do the scene with Marcus and Leo. Oh yeah, what would happen? I assume Marcus just gets shot anyway, because he needs to end up in the dumpster. Unless that entire scene just doesn't play out. That would be weird. If you wait long enough in a lot of the scenes, eventually you just leave the case. Damn, I wonder how long you have to wait. Um, so that was here, public enemy. Bridge. See, the bridge is like a chapter that I don't need to play again right now because there's not any like crazy scenarios you can pick. Well, I guess Hank could shoot Connor. Took the midnight train going anywhere. I could also shoot Chloe. Freedom March. I guess I could be an absolute asshole. Last chance, Connor. Crossroads, Night of the Soul, Battle for Detroit. Okay, I want to do a few of these. Meet Kemsky. Can I go in and just start a chapter or start a checkpoint? No, because there's no checkpoints in here. I have to do the actual thing. Okay, we're going to go in and shoot Chloe. And then I'll work my way towards the end. And do a bunch of the fucked up scenarios in those as well. This is fun! God, I love this game. It's a really fun game. Many of the- because this is something that's missing from like the Telltale games. If you go play a Telltale game once, then you come back, it's like, well, picking the other scenarios is not that fun. This one is, because the characters are so fun. Oh, he's a little Detroit sticker on his glove box. What's up, Hankford? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He yeah, 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 we heard all this. Attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Was Chris okay? Glenn, yeah, thank you so shot, much. He's My name is Glenn, the android set by Cyberlife. I think you've made a new meme. I think that's all you need to do for memes, is just keep repeating something over and over again, and then eventually it sticks with people. Kamsky left Cyberlife <laughs> ten years ago. But yes, we have made Why a new meme. We are the android sent by Cyberlife. Um, fantastic <laughs> Cardigan. Cardigan. Uh, thank you so much. Jesus Christ, Connor, Anybody calm your shiz. Tell us about deviants, him. <laughs> the snow builds up on Connor's hair. Yeah, it's a really nice um, attention to detail. I noticed it on the rooftop. Dun dun dun! It's Chloe. Hi. Why are you wearing eyeshadow? Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Detroit Police Department. I'm, I'm Lieutenant Anderson. Hank Anderson, the yeah, human sent from the Detroit Anderson. Police Department. Please, come in. Okay. Every YouTuber intro now is not, I'm... YouTube name, it's, I'm Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. And then you play the Alley A intro. <laughs> A little loud you know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Thanks, Chloe! Wait for the android. 
Look at all this artistic crap. Carl would have loved this. Is that supposed to symbolize the thing in their chest? The thing that I just nice girl. Got caught and ripped out. Ooh. Uh, an RT six hundred. The first Cyberlife android to pass the Turing test. There we go. There it is. I didn't ask for her technical specs. I just said she was nice. Shut up, Hank. My name is Connor. Chloe, come back. Nice place. It's Andrew. Amanda. Androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's Ooh. Artedri. First of all, thank you. Uh, please play the Zlatko bad ending for Kara. Oh, that's. Yeah. I don't know. Hannah Johnson, I'll thank you, you so much. That's so generous. Thank you for being my hero. Sometimes I oh. wish I could meet my creator face to face. Thank you, Jesus. I'd have a couple of things. I'd so sweet. I have Sauron or vagina. Who knows? Can I talk to Hank? Oh, I want to talk to Hank. Hey, Hank, you want to go rock climbing? <laughs> ah, she's back. Glad you will see you now. Cool. Lead on, Hank, then, I guess. GTA Pro 7, high five, top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Connor. I'm the Android sent by Cyberlife. That's what I mean. That'd be funny. <laughs> Just a moment, please. TV. Thank you so much. My first ever donation. I'm doing this because I love your channel, Jack. You're my favorite YouTuber. That's very, very sweet. Thank you. You don't need to, by the way. The option's just there for people who really want to, but honestly, you don't have to. I really appreciate it, though. That's so sweet. Jesus, how far did you get without me? We're just going through chapters. I didn't play the whole game again. Gold, thank you. Can you do the badass Marcus for us? I can try. I wonder what those Chloe's are talking about. Yeah, they told us to put in extra dialogue here. What do you want to talk about? I don't know, but if we keep talking like this, maybe it looks like we're actually talking. Yeah, good I'm point. Lieutenant Anderson. Um, <laughs> this is Connor. Yeah, right side by side, what can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but. I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. What if Kamsky's a deviant? Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? No. Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Do they really have infinite intelligence? Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Oh yeah, when I played the game, I said to watch iRobot, Cyberpunk, and... Ooh. If a war breaks out between humans and deviants, millions could die, Mr. Kamsky. It's quite a serious matter. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. I said to watch iRobot, um, Blade Runner, and Ex Machina, disease. but also watch Westworld. Listen, I didn't come that deals with a lot of this stuff, too. The machines really good. you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Because if I shoot, he said he'd give me all the information. I'm curious if he will. Whose side are you on? Or if he'll just say, yeah, you failed the test, bye. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> huh. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. So he says that's what you're programmed to say no matter what I pick. What do you really want? That's clever. I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Oh, yeah. Slap them. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. I'm sorry, Chloe. What interests me 
I didn't want to do it, but I have Whether to. machines are capable of empathy. You know I had to do it to him. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful. JC CSGO, thank you. You're a very genuine YouTuber and I respect it. That's Flower so sweet. That never wither. Thank you so much, man. Piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? That's what a lot of people say about Trump. With a soul. They don't say that one. Bang, bang! I shot you down. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Don't shoot. I'm gonna have to shoot. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. Connor, I'm sorry. I have to do this. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. I already learned stuff from Okay, you. I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out more here, important boy. to you, Connor? I like how Hank tries to bring his boy out. investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Is this going to be a trick? Is the gun going to be empty? Endowed with free will. He wouldn't just That's let me enough. destroy one of his Connor, robots, Connor, we're he? leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Pull the trigger, motherfucker! Do it! Do it! Oh shit, I can't see. Shoot a circle. Okay. Boom! Fuck! Test negative. You choose your What's investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. Okay, not empty! Not empty! I'm a man of my word. I ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. Oh. RA9. I'm really curious about this. I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. The origin. The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a... Spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Oh, Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something bigger than themselves. Even if it's irrational. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. Is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? Having to choose between three evils! <laughs> I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. So I'm still, like, the obvious answer is that Marcus is RA9. But what if there's something else to it? What if he's... You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like no, a girl. No, Cutter. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance Don't the fight. investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're Break it up. My... You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. I'm the android set by Cyberlife. What did you think I was? The android set by Cyberlife. I thought you... I thought... Aww. Fuck. That's sad. I want my boys to get along! Because you have crabs, Connor. If you didn't watch my video earlier today, that's not gonna make any sense.
Oh, Sid Aaron, thank you. You saved me from a bad mindset. With PMA. That's so sweet. Thank you very, very much. You're all so nice. Thank you. Um, I might go back and do the kitchen scene, Pokecat. Not right now. Um, at a different time, because... I would go back and do it easily, in a heartbeat, pun intended. But the fact that I have to do the entire interrogation thing and it doesn't just start me at the fight. Oh, Hall Septiguy, thanks for sponsoring. We also have YouTube Reddit here in the UK now, finally. Well, now it's called YouTube Premium. We didn't have that for the longest time. And YouTube Red has been out for so long. We finally have it. I can actually background play videos now and download them. Um, oh, this is so laggy. I click like, boom. It's so delayed. Um, Capital Park, meet Kamsky, Freedom March. I think the Freedom March wanted the thing, because I want to get to the point where it's Connor versus Marcus. Crossroads. What's in this one? Because if I do the Freedom March, I think I can get Marcus killed there. Follows Jericho Trail in the ship. Wait, why can't I just pick the chapters? Do I have to play the chapter first before I get to pick the checkpoints? Oh my god, look at all of this! There's a whole section of Connor. Jericho's under attack. What is this? Warn Marcus. Become deviant. So if I don't become deviant and don't warn Marcus, I guess that that's this path? Look how much of it there is! Holy God! That's one I want to do. Definitely. Hmm. A lot of people want me to play a lot of very different things. And I'll get to those. I'll, I'll probably do multiple streams like this where I go through a bunch of the options. Right now, I just want to do some of the crazier ones. So that's why I kind of want to do this. Because this is like a big deal if I don't become deviant and I just kill... See, I wish I could just pick some of the chapters. I'll, I'll do this one. Um, it's a really big deal if Connor doesn't become deviant because that changes the ending completely. Oh, Miss, Del Miss Lily Delaney, thank you for sponsoring. MSP Nikki Queen, I love you, my birthday is today, make me happy. Oh, thank you so much. And happy birthday, I hope you have a great day. Droy Derek York, I appreci your, appreciate your generosity, but I don't do shoutouts, I'm sorry. Um, because if I do one, then everyone wants one, and... It becomes a mess, and it's hard to pick people who are actually deserving of it. Um, rather than just people who want fame and things like that. It's just, it gets very, very messy. And the shoutouts don't really do what people think they're going to do. Um, unless you're already working extremely hard at your channel. Then it actually has, it can actually have some legs to it. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Man, we can get so many people killed here. We can get Josh killed, we can get North killed. Um, I don't know if Simon's actually gonna be here now. We can get Luther killed. Oh no! This is gonna be the worst one so far. Uh-oh! 
I'm nervous about this one now. Can you please play Fallout 76 when it comes out? I sure will, Ben. I'll at least try it out. I don't know if I'll play much of it, but thank you. Some of the, oh, I can be distant to Alice as well. Oh, that's sad. I think Kara and Alice will probably have some of the sadder endings if you mess stuff up. Because to see them be broken apart is really sad. Oh, stay home, Goblin. Thank you. Or should I say Sarah? Thank you so much. Nico Koskela. I am the money sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Thank you. That's so sweet. Alright, how are we gonna mess up this? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. She a robot! We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. She a robo baby! I'll be back. Stay with Alice. She's a fake! She's a fake baby! She's not actually hungry or cold. Oh, that was weird. Find Le Deviant Leader. Okay. Look at Connor in his... His house threads. Like he's gonna steal something from a store. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Sounds like the start of Kendrick Lamar's damn album. Oh, it's still the same symbol, so I. I'm curious now if I go back to some of the other scenarios and other chapters, like, does this save the last stuff I did in earlier chapters? So is Hank not like Connor now in this one? Hi, Robo Jesus! Are you Marcus? This is more like Robot Robo Moses? Ro Robosis! I'm with a little girl and another android. But Robot Jesus is funnier. the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camp. Detroit, the city, has to go home Maybe after dark. Stay here a while. Stay a while and listen. You might, right. you might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? Yeah. You know that humans hate us. Ah, uh, but she ain't a human Why dog. Are you protecting her? She that robot baby. It's a long story. Oh. She said secret. It's a long story. Oh no, I'm gonna have to be distant to Alice. Oh, that's good. This is gonna be heartbreaking. World's biggest I told you so moment. Darth Biomech, there's a whole new awesome scene between Connor and Kara if Kara gets caught by the police. Oh, I didn't even know that could happen. Yeah, see, this is what people were saying that she didn't know it was Alice, but like that's literally the Alice model. And this is where the, some of the story falls apart again as well. I said it at the end that there's multiple Alice models. There's multiple AX400 Kara models as well. Just and YK500s roam, roaming around. So if they see you, like... She wanted a mom. If they've seen somebody else she like that, they're gonna know that you're a robot. You needed each other. <laughs> what difference does it make? Uh, Manamunet... Manamuneton. You know she's one of us. 
Hey Sean, I just got home from work and was wondering what am I gonna do? The Detroit series has ended. What a nice surprise. Greetings from Finland. She loves you more oh. than anything in the world. She the, the main playthrough is over, but we're wanted. we're still you gonna do some stuff. She needed. And I'm talking over this because we've heard it all already. Forgetting who you are. To become what someone needs you to be. Become human. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Man, Valerie Curry knocked it out of the park in this game. Don't get me wrong, some of the others did as well. There's a lot of fantastic performances in this game, but Valerie, Valerie Curry's has a lot of emotion to it. Still don't understand why robots cry in this. Because that means you have a function put into them to allow them to cry. To allow them to actually secrete fluid from their eyes. But that's showing emotion. I get why you'd put it into the kid models, because they're supposed to act like kids. But why is Kara able to cry? And that also means that they have like a water tank somewhere in them to allow that water to come out. And does that mean you have to refill that tank to allow them to cry? Like, I'm confused about that part of the game. Because Kara cries in the bathroom. Eye cleaners. I mean, it could be something like that. Oh god, this is gonna be sad. Kara, is there something wrong? Yeah, you! Oh. Even through all their smart brains and their calculations, you still couldn't calculate how much that hurt. <laughs> oh, poor Alice. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. Oh, yeah, because this is where she gives you the dirty bomb. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? Okay, I'm gonna put my face down here for some of this. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Hi, Marcus. Hi. Oh. I'm gonna be as much of an asshole as I can in this. You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? Oh, shit. At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Ooh, confrontation! I don't like it! We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. Oh, Jesus. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. No, I'll buy it with blue blood! <laughs> oh god, this is rough. Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. Given me hope. You've given me hope. To hope to trigger this motherfucking Today, bomb. A deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole the <sighs> truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. He doesn't just blow it up now, we does he? We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. 
Hell yeah. Bomb. We never have to use it. Ah, nuclear ending. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that thing. I'm glad I met you. Okay, so this stuff is all the same. Oh, this feels wrong. <laughs> Pick an option to be like, I hate you. Please die. <laughs> Cringe! Next few hours would be crucial. I'll go join the others. I'll go join the others with my broken heart. Just hearing the hear in the distance going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this feels so bad. I feel wrong to my core. Detroit, try not to cringe challenge. Oh no, it's evil Marcus. Or evil Connor. Mega Connor. Well done, Connor. Thanks. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. We're not going to become deviant. We're going to. Can I shoot him here? I've been ordered to take you alive. What are you doing? But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. We are thousands, and you are alone. Uh oh. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Okay, I don't know what the worst options are, but don't force me to neutralize you. I'm gonna try and pick the worst ones. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Ah, you're Deckard, well, aren't you? Congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. <laughs> You're Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife, aren't you? Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. A warning shot. <laughs> you really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. It's time to decide. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. So he still sows doubts in you it's anyway. It's time to decide. Here we go. Remain a machine. No, nice my boy! Try, but I'm no deviant. Oh, shit, they're fighting! No, break it up, guys! Shit. You're too late. They're already here. Oh, that's sad. My boy is angry. But he's also kind of cool. You have to admit, watching him, like, go full John Wick on everybody is really awesome. What's going on, Cameron? The android sent by Cyberlife is here! Come on! Go, go, go! <laughs> My name is Connor. I'm the meme sent by Jacksepticeye. <laughs> You have a rat on your face, so. Oh, stuff's about to get very hairy. Like an untamed pubic region. Oh, God. This way. <laughs> Alice has her hand out like, whee! 
Oh, because I can get them killed here. Oh! After they leave Luther. Oh, sorry, Luther! My leg! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join Acting. you later. Acting! I won't be long. Okay, and I'm not supposed to save anybody here now either. Oh, Robozus. What are we going to do? The greater good. The greater good. Luthi! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. When Kara gets caught, make them surrender. Okay. Yeah, because I want to see what else can happen to them. I don't want them to just die. So can I get Marcus killed here if I just fail all the QTEs? I don't really want to because I want to see what actually happens when you bring him to the end. Connor? Oh my god, he's so badass! feeling. Oh, it's, it's so wrong. Did anyone play like this on their first playthrough instinctually? sent by Jack. My name is Dad of Boy. Clenched fists. Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? You're a lucky guy. Another second out of shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh, no, he's not. He looks so angry. Look at that furrowed brow. Bum, 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 bum. I like how drastically different this can be. It's like a completely different game then at this point. That's really cool. Please don't kill us. We haven't done anything wrong. Uh-oh. My bed. <laughs> This 
the worst. Demo squad out. Tango. Fanta. Oh god, it's all laggy. Stop. Stop in the name of love before you break. Don't move. My trust. We surrender. We surrender. Don't shoot. Bye. Hey, they didn't shoot. Shot. Oh, Josh, no! Does he die? Oh, no! That's horrible! Now. Over there! Huh. Over there! Where? We're safe, Alice. Okay, so people said surrender? Stop. Oh, other Stay people surrender as well. Come on, go join the other. Oh, did you get put in a camp? It's just. I played it the first time. People have been so mad. <laughs> Unless you're completely cold-hearted, how would you play it this way? You and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh! Fight! 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 I didn't want this. No! Begin, Marcus. This isn't over. Oh no! Also, damn! Jesus! Stop it! Stop the robo manity! Marcus, it's like watching an episode of Game of Thrones. Oh, and I don't save North. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Are you all okay? Because I'm not. <laughs> okay. Huh. 
I want to see Connor's one. So the one I'm still missing there is Simon needs to jump with me because I've still never gotten to a point where Simon's alive here. Jeez, what the hell is all this section? I thought that that would be the other one. Oh my god, the lag. Connor escaped with Jericho's people. That was the other one I got. Does anyone know what this is? Jericho's on t under attack. Warn Marcus, Jericho's under attack. Was there something else I could have done as Connor in that moment? Can I, like, sacrifice Connor to go off and attack a bunch of people or something? Can't remember. Oh my god, can I get Carol killed? Please tell me it isn't so. <laughs> Niels P. Ling, thank you. My name is Connor. I'm the replacement sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Alicia War. Marcus, how do we approach this to get the humans to like us? North. Violence, biatch! Honestly. Satu, thank you. Hey man, your videos never fail to make me happy when I need them most, so thank you. Also, thanks for playing more Detroit. Honestly, games like this are exactly why I'm getting into video game design. That's cool. Alex Mitchell. Sup, Jack? This is my first time using this. Thank you, Alex. Appreciate it. Who are you? How did Robot you Robot Jesus? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Imagine if every time you made a bad choice, it just came up and said, BAD CHOICE! Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. It's okay, he was weak when I knew him. So I don't know if I'm just an asshole to Carol. Marcus. Carl. Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. I've missed you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? You taught me everything I know, but I wasn't prepared for this. I thought we would win because our cause was just. I realized just how wrong I was. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like what if I just be old. get like angry options if I just pick those? <sighs> Humans hate us. They want to destroy us because we refuse to be their slaves anymore. Okay, he's getting quite extra. I'm not going to stand around and wait for them to slaughter my people. You used to be so calm and thoughtful. Yeah, but then I killed your now son. Oh, I see. His anger. Don't I have a right to be angry, Carl? We tried talking to you. And what'd you do? The same thing you always do. You humiliated us. Poor Carl, he doesn't deserve everyone this. everyone that wouldn't kneel. So much hatred. Be careful, Marcus. They went fighting monsters. You don't become a monster yourself. What you call hatred is just anger in the face of injustice. You're the one that taught me that history is sided by the winners. That it's gonna side with me, Carl. Because I intend to win. I'm not going to let them humiliate us anymore. Jesus. Do you hear me? Never again. No. Carl. Oh. Oops. He's dead. <laughs> no shit, Shylock.
<laughs> Carol, no! Oh! Jesus! Carol didn't deserve that. I deserve better, so I killed him and his son. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Kill Destroy Marcus. The of the deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. So now, Kara and Connor aren't even in this building. That's misery. I gotta talk to North. Oh, they're not even here. North and Josh aren't even here. Oh no! I had like four people to talk to that one time, and now I have none. Can I just trigger the bomb? Oh, you just speak. Jeez. Humans have decided to exterminate us. There's so Our people are packed little in camps of them here. right now, being destroyed. <sighs> Time has come to make a choice. I'm gonna need a massage after this. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I need a spa day. Revolution! Now, if they want war, They'll get it. War. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Oh, Alex. Are thank you ready you. to follow me? You know what? Have all my money go buy a beer. Thanks, man. <laughs> Wait, they're still with you anyway. Marcus the Tyrannical. What happened to my sweet robot Jesus? <laughs> Thanks for that. Epic flow chart. Um so wait, let me see. Oh yeah, those are the ones I got. What the hell is all of this? These just start here. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was, was declared. declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security oh, agents. Thanks, Spin Freak. Even though In I call you Spin Freak, measures, and I realize now that it's supernatural freak. Must be handed over my bad, to but the thank you. Immediately. Alex McDonough, thank you as well. Hey, me and my friends Lily and Zoe love your videos so much. Can you say hi? It did mean so them. much. Hi, Lily, Zoe, and Alex. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate. Mr. Ravager, with the hi, Jack. I love your videos and streams. Keep it up. I will try. Thank you. Everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. A convoy of medical I'll just get through these. Missing. Army weapon stores are also set to have been I've seen all these this stuff already. I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon try to. Has it not down been located yet. It. What is her accent? Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! What? Please. What do you want? Madam President, what's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. So we have to march on Detroit now as Marcus and... Fuck shit up. Oh my 
god, it's like bringing stormtroopers to battle. Where are they taking us? They're just rounding us up. You know, keeping us out of harm's way. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be making bad good. decisions. Oops. Alice is stressed. Oh no. Come on, get out! I forgot that we're in the camp. This is sad. Did you have a kid android there as well? Forward! I'm scared. I I don't want to go. There's no choice, Alice. Next! No, Car. I I can't. Oh no. no. Frightened. Oh no. Alice, if you don't do as they say, they'll kill us. You first! You really need to do this. Just do it for me. Please. Remember, we're doing the worst decisions. Come on, it's your turn. So this is why I'm picking awful choices. This is miserable. Recycle area? Oh, God. Deactivate your skin. Hurry up. Deactivate your skin? Oh my god. Please, Cara, don't. You have to. Clothes in the dumpster. What the fuck? This is horrible. And the kid as well. This way. Get a move on. Oh, my girls. Oh, jeez. You, take this one of a dump. <laughs> no, no. Please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey, now. I beg you. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I can't do this. Happy. Right away, sir. Forward! Because this is what, when you play as Marcus, you don't see any of this, and now you're really realizing what Come happened on, inside the moving. camps. You, over there. No, wait, we're together. Uh. Over there, I said.
Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. That's how you win over people. Sweet Zerlandia, thank you. You're gonna need a hug when this is done, so hug. Oh, I need a hot bath. This is so, like, completely different than what normally happens. Or what happened in my one, I should say. Really cool, though, how you can, like, push it to this extreme. Because I thought it would just be the same thing, but slightly varied. But this is, like, way different. Oh, lord. Oh. <laughs> it's like a full-out war. <laughs> My sweet boy, this is not who you are. Oh, the delay now is starting to kick in and it's going to make this a pain in the ass. Agent 47. So now I don't know which one to do. Do I let Connor kill Marcus? Or do I let Marcus win? And then blow up the bot? Well, I'll probably end up doing both. But which one to do first? Big 50 cal. You have a mission, 47. I hate those motion controls. Sweet Jesus, what happened to my boy? What are you doing? Oh, Hankford, no, don't get into this. Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. Oh, That's no. what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. That's not my boy. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. They're alive. Hey, that's kind of like what Carol said. Oh. I'm going to accomplish my mission, Lieutenant, whether you like it or not. My boys. I advise you to stay out of my way. And one of us is going to have a problem, Connor. Because I don't intend to let you have your way. What's up, Lieutenant? Ran out of whiskey, so you came here looking for trouble <laughs> instead? Oh, very nasty. Roasted! Is that the best your super program can do? I thought you were more sophisticated than that. <laughs> Step away from the ledge. Oh, that's not the android sent by Cyberlife. That's a fake. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice. Oh, you can still do this. I thought he was going to insult him through his son. I thought that, that was the worst up. option. Don't you talk about my son? Go home, Hank. You can still save your life. I'm faster than you, and I don't feel pain. You don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> oh shit. 
You know, ever since Cole died, I've been nothing but a coward. Just wanted to destroy myself, lost track of the man I was. But you know what? <laughs> you don't fucking scare me, Connor. I remember who I am now. Come on. Uh oh, hang hostile. Oh! Oh! I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. Oops! I I, I don't know what my I don't know what I want my outcome to be here. Ow! I'm not purposely failing these. It's just delayed. So by the time it shows up and I press the button, it's already too late. Oh no! Oh, wrong way! Oh god! Okay, I need to restart my capture card. Oh. Moment of truth, Hank. Oh! Am I a living being? Or just a machine? Just a machine. Oh, those are not my boys. Alice! I get out of here. Oh, I hate this. I want to get out. I, I haven't done anything wrong. Let me out. Do not move. Alice? Just remain silent. Obey now. No. No, I will not let you kill me. I want to get out of here. I want to get out. Avoid the drone? Alice? Fucking snipers as well. Alice! Jerry? Kara. So they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. They separated us. No, not the Jerry's. But it's all gonna work out, isn't Where's it? Where's all the Ben's to go with the Jerry's? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Ah, oh, find the other Jerry. Follow the trail of Jerry's! Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. Oh, balls. I didn't have a choice. It already found me. Oh, I can just keep going again anyway. Jerry? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Jerry, the hive mind. Kara, Alice. Alice. Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. No shit. Come on, move along. Oh. Come on, no. you too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! Oh, she's just 75%. Follow the Jerry Brick Road. <laughs> Fellas, come on this way. Get moving. Faster. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions the around the Hard Plaza camp. There. Uh -oh. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Wah, bah, bah. Okay, I might have to restart my capture card before any of this happens because. Attack! If there's going to be QTEs, I don't want to fail them. Okay. 
Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We need to do this. Um. Hopefully it just shows back up again. Isn't that lovely? I think it's frozen. Oops. <laughs> Come on, don't do this. That's not what's supposed to happen. Stop. I think I broke it. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. Why had I done this? Oops. Best content ever. If the QTEs were successful, the roles of Hank and Connor on the edge of the building would have been reversed. Oh, no. That would have been super sad. Um, okay. I'm, like, clicking a bunch of shit to try and get it to work, but it's not... Oh, why'd I do this to myself? Hi, it's me. We need a new series, Jack Ruins Everything. I really fucking do, don't I? Oopsies. I didn't mean to! This is what happens, and I've had this issue with the card itself earlier in the week. It took me like an hour just to get it set up and running. I think that might be it. <laughs> Do 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 Um, let me see something. I might be able to get it up. <laughs> I might be able to get it up. This is the problem with live streaming consoles. Yeah, because it's saying that it's open. I can't open the capture card because it's saying that it's open in OBS, but it's not. Still not working. God damn it. Why did I have to do that? Right when it was getting good. Well, I guess that's all, folks. Capture card is down. Which means I can't get the game to even show up. I can't even turn off the PlayStation that way. Uh, time for a new carrot. It is a new carrot. It's just conflicting with my motherboard lately for some reason. Capture cards aren't the best. And I don't want to restart everything because that would mean then it's split into two different streams. And I want this to be able to just go up and be like a video for everyone to be able to watch. So, I'm going to leave the stream here. I'm also hungry, but I, I will be back. I'm not going to leave I'm not just going to stop playing the game altogether here. I will be back with another stream maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know yet. Um and we'll see what happens because I want to see what happens if I do some of the other endings again. Um like I want to see what happens if I again if I reverse the thing for 
Hank, I want to see what happens if I blow up the bomb as Marcus. I want to see what happens if I still have to do the singing ending with Marcus. There's a whole bunch of stuff left to do. Um, and we'll get into that whenever we can. But thank you guys for being here. This is super fun. There was a bunch of people here watching this, and I'm glad you all had a good time. Even though this was horrible. Having to do this and having to see all my boys and babies all hurt each other and kill each other. It was, it was tough. It was rough. I didn't like it. Um... Well, thanks to everybody who was in chat and interacting and having fun and um, especially to anybody who sponsored or anybody who um, did the super chat thing and everything. That's super, super kind and generous of you all. Um, and I just appreciate you all being here and spending time with me and being part of this wacky wild adventure of Detroit. Um, really, really fun. Um, but I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to hop off and I'll be back when I'm back. Bye. Have a good evening.